So the third step is the memorization of the circuits. And what we find out with repetition is that the brain begins to memorize these circuits. So there's a phenomenon called phantom limb pain where I'm an orthopedic surgeon. So during my residency, we had to perform a lot of amputations for diabetes or cardiovascular problems. When you lose a blood supply to your leg or your arm, particularly, let's talk about the legs for a second because that's by far not only the most common, <clears throat> you have a lot of pain. Anytime the body is deprived of oxygen, it is extremely painful. So about half the patients that undergo amputations have the same pain they had before the amputation. So it's a pretty graphic operation to remove the entire source of the pain. I mean, it's not subtle where the pain is coming from, correct? So the patient has no idea the leg is gone, and then he or she's feeling the exact same pain they did before the operation, and it doesn't go away. So these neurologic circuits become very, very powerful. So even more of a graphic example I ran across just a couple months ago, I was giving a lecture at a rehab conference, and the lecturer in front of me presented a paper about, fan, about phantom pain of the arm. And they had a group of 28 patients who had a syndrome called reflex sympathetic dystrophy. And we don't know what causes it, but we do know that the, sympath the sympathetic nervous system sets off I'm sorry, the sympathetic nervous system adjusts things like sweating, pulse, blood pressure, et cetera. And in some patients, the sympathetic nervous system becomes very out of balance. So the arm becomes red, blue, swollen, and incredibly painful. It's probably the worst pain syndrome in the human existence. So 28 patients underwent an amputation on a perfectly normal functioning arm, except it was painful. Guess how many patients got better? Two. Two out of 28. Of course, the question we all asked is, well, how did they end up doing 28 of these things? And believe it or not, about half the patients were still happy they had the amputation. And I, I don't, the reasons for that are unclear, but nonetheless, 26 out of 28 patients still had the, they had enough pain, for instance, to undergo an amputation of their arm. So the memorization process is profound. So the final phase, I call it, so there's, again, the source sensitization, memorization, but the final layer is I call the modifiers. So with chronic pain, you start losing sleep, and you become anxious, you become frustrated. So what the DOC project does, it goes through the sequence. So first, have you understand the source, understand the sensitization, understand the memorization, and then deals with the modifiers. One, again, just the DOC project, there's actually not one treatment that is new. It's just a framework, but it helps you organize your thinking helps organize your communication, and then organizes your care. So if you understand exactly what you need to do, then you take back control. Once you have control, again, your frustration drops down, you start doing the right things to, that need to be done to get rid of your pain, you take your life back.